It's the Winemakers on Sporting News, presented by Jack Daniels. Hey folks, the Winemakers on Sporting News here in Las Vegas with Rick Heron, Kenny White, I'm Brian Blessing. We're going to get you ready for the Cleveland Browns visit to Baltimore and a lot of activity on this number, fellas. It opened 12 46 and a half. The Ravens are now up to a 12 and a half point favorite. Totals dropping like a stone to 43 and a half. Kenny, let me start with you. Is this a letdown spot for the Ravens off that hard fought Sunday night victory over the Patriots? And now they play Cleveland. I can almost let you answer that. Does a bear hibernate in the, in the winter time? You know, this is definitely a huge letdown spot. They're feeling good about themselves, beating the Patriots, playing an 0 and 3 team. Who they've handled, Ricky's going to let you know about very easily over the last four or five years. So yes, huge letdown. Yeah, it's a letdown spot, but the question is, are the Browns good enough to do anything about it, okay? It, it, and believe it or not, the Browns are 7-2-1 and one against the spread in their last 10 games, back to last year. They're 1-1-1 one, one, and one so far on the season. But in this series, they've been dominated. Uh, the Ravens have won eight in a row. The Ravens are 6-2 and two against the spread in those eight, and I'm not sure going into Baltimore in prime time with a rookie quarterback in Brandon Whedon is the best thing the Browns have going for them. Hey, we're clowning around, I mean, saying that it is obvious about the letdown, but that's not going to stop the public from driving this number up, don't you think? No, the number's going to go up. I think you'll see 13 and a half, you'll see 14s and some square outs. Uh, the day of the game, right up to kickoff, it'll be a lot of Raven money. Everyone likes what they've seen, but don't be scared of the Browns. They have been competitive all three games. And they haven't lost one game by 13. Well, don't don't forget one other thing, though. The Ravens are a different offense this year, just like they're a different defense. They're, they've gone to that spread offense now, and there's no Joe Hayden for the for the Browns in the secondary, their best cover corner. So that could be a factor in the game, too. Well, the Ravens are an over team, and there's no getting around that. But let's talk about the total. Dropping down three points. Kenny, I know you got some total trends, which will be great information. But first of all, are you on board with the move to the under? Not really. Um, I'm kind of surprised that it's dropped this far. It is it is the Ravens. It's a Thursday night game. It's a standalone game. The total will go back up on Thursday. Maybe the reason it's going under here, they're playing it under, is Shermer 11-4-1 under last year. He's 2-1 and one under this year. Whedon's 28 years old. He is a rookie, but he's 28 years old. His best game this year was on the road. Maybe he's less pressure away from home. And Shermer's a very conservative coach, but again, this team's only scored 11 points a game in their last four games against the Ravens defense. I'm not sure much is going to be different tonight. Hey, the guys say this side is going to go up at the moment. It is Baltimore, 12 and a half point favorites. Look for that number to go up. When they host the Cleveland Browns, the total on the game sits at 43 and a half.